From the site that many call the loudest in the NFL, we are inside Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the New Orleans Saints taking on the defending Super Bowl champions, the Kansas City Chiefs. Get strapped in. It's just about time to get the party started. And into a sea of red, we're underway in Kansas City. This taken in at the goal line. And they'll be backed up to start this drive as he's taken down right around the 15. At their own 15-yard line. Play action, it's Mahomes. Well, the first play of the game going to be intercepted. And he'll be marked down at the two-yard line. Wow, just one snap in, partner, and the complexion of this game has already changed because for the defensive side, they just handed their offense a short field and a big early advantage. And even though it's only the first snap of the game, we're going to look back on this one and see if it has lasting effects as this game moves on. Camara is in. Touchdown, New Orleans. Well, that's how you take advantage of an early turnover. A sudden change situation, meaning ball's turned over. How's both sides going to handle it? One side handled it way better. They went right out on the field and put the ball in the end zone. One play, that just added insult to injury. Yeah, that just tells you on the defensive side, they didn't come out ready to go, still reeling from the fact that the ball got turned over. The call is to go for one and kick the extra point. And it's good as the Saints have a 7 to nothing lead. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result, and he opted for the touchback. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And the interception on that opening drive winds up leading to the touchdown, so now it's kind of time to start over. Yeah, it certainly is, and his first throw of the game but I like the way his guys rallied around him. Oftentimes, the quarterback is the leader, right? He tells everyone what to do. In this case, I noticed his linemen around him kind of patting him, saying, let's go, big boy. You're still our leader. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Yeah, this one's going to sail on him a bit, and it's incomplete. Well, nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're seeing. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Mahomes going to throw. That is caught. He's across midfield. Down the sideline he goes. Travis Kelsey. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Travis Kelsey, 75 yards. And the Chiefs are an extra point away from evening this one up. That's a great response. You give up the first score of the game, but you go right down yourselves and get the equalizer. I just had a flashback there. I remember playing in a game like that in college where one of my teammates had said in the media that week, the opposite team would be lucky to cross our goal line. They crossed it in the first minute of the game. On our first offensive play, we scored to answer back. Something similar to what we just saw there. Very similar to what we just saw. Extra point by Bunker is on target, and we are tied at seven. So all even at 
seven now as they kick it away. From his end zone, here's Rashid Shaheed. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. Then confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Second down and four. Car going to throw. Open man left side. Shaheed has it. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. Third and two. Now Carr. And Johnson lost the football. It's loose, pumped out, and it's picked up by the Chiefs. And they're going to set up shop at the 27 yard line. There are two words that we hear coaches say all of the time one starts with a B, one starts with an S. Ball security. And they preach it, they, they have it up in, in the meeting room. Right? You see the signs, they talk about it all the time. But still, when you get defenders out there who are preaching, hey, we're going to take the ball away from you, no matter what position you play, you've got to take care of the rock. And a hard-working run here as he's got it inside the 20, down to the 17. Ten yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. Hey, Now Mahomes. This is caught. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Mahomes hitting his favorite target, Travis Kelsey, on the touchdown pass. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. Still first quarter, two receiving touchdowns for him. How are they going to slow him down? I think they're thinking about altering their game plan. Whatever they came in with, now maybe you switch a better cover guy to it. Or you make sure you have more people in his general area, wherever he lines up, to at least try and discourage them from throwing the ball to him. Extra point by Butker is on target, and that makes the score 14-7. to Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. Last time out, they had the fumble. That led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points too, Charles. But they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch partner for both of those units, and they kind of put their defensive mates in a really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground. But an easy way to make it up to them, get out there now and get some points on this drive. They keep it on the ground. This time, it's Miller. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. Well, let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. 93. Now Carr throwing on second down. And he's taken down, a Chiefs sack. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go out. 
outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped. Throw left side is complete on the diving effort. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Every guy that plays this game has plenty of people around him that are concerned for his health and well-being. He had no regard for his body on that catch at all, did he? <laughs> Middle of the field diving to grab it? No, he didn't. They'll set up the screen now to Camaro. He's across midfield, and he'll take this down to the 40-yard line. Another nice gain, 16 yards there at a first down again. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere, and they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people, but you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well, and that's what they just did on that play. They go back to the ground now with Miller. And he is going to wind up losing yardage here as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Now Carr. Flush to his right. And a quick shuffle pass here is complete. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll try to run for it. Here's Williams. And he's able to motor his way down to the 16-yard line. He'll get 15 and a Saints first down. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. They'll try the right side here with Miller. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Kendra Miller, a 16-yard touchdown run. And the Saints are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know that sounds really generic, and it sounds almost trite. But the blocks were made up front, offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. Washington now brings this out. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. Yellow, yellow. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive that they watched the other side just score, but... Remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to pull off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know, one big play, though, gets them right back up to that level. A run by Pacheco on second down. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. We're backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And that will be incomplete. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. Yellow. 
Now let's see. Yeah, the offense still out there. They elect to go on fourth and 11. They'll go for it. It's Mahomes. Open man. It's the tight end, Kelsey. And he is going to have the Chiefs first down, and he'll have it by 20 as it turns out to be a big gainer there on fourth down. But it all came together on that one, didn't it? Big time throw on fourth. Now that had to feel good, didn't it? Taking that type of a gamble there and making it pay off. What a throw. And tough as a receiver because no matter how perfect the pass, you know it's fourth down and you got to convert. A little bit of extra pressure, but he overcame it. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Definitely worth taking in our deep shot here. He's already found the end zone twice here in the first half. Yeah, go back to that same well. They've had trouble containing him, but able to contain him on that play. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. They go play fake. Mahomes. He gets this one complete to Rice. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 21. How about 25 yards on third down? They'll take it. First down. First and 10 at the 21 yard line. First and ten, here's Pacheco. And he is out of bounds, looks like right at the 15. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. That's a strong pickup right there on first down, and as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Pacheco gets it again on second down. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Throwing the out route here, and it's complete to Kelsey. Touchdown! Travis Kelsey on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Chiefs' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Well, we know someone just added to his touchdown passing total, but all he did was get the ball out quickly to his tight end and let him take care of business the rest of the way. Bunker on for the PAT. And with that, the lead is up to eight. After the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. 
And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Perry. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. On a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. Carr now on first down. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Here's second and five now from the 37. Carr now to throw. Alvin Kamara reeling it in on back-to-back -back plays. Now the Saints will use their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. So on third down, the field goal unit will come out as they'll try to get three before half. On the right hash, officially, this will be a 51-yard attempt. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle, and that'll get the lead down to five. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how... It's caught inside the 25. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Marquez Valdez-Scantling in the final seconds of the first half. And the Chiefs would extend their lead here just before halftime. Butker now to add the extra point. And this one gives these guys a 12-point lead. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. Third 
The Saints going to go on offense first, and they trail here as we begin quarter number three. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And right out of the gate, they face what you think could be a pretty important drive. I would say so. You know, they're down two scores. That's not the end of the world. It wasn't the strongest of first halves, but for them to start calling back, they've got to start putting more pressure on that defense, start cutting into this deficit. You can't have three and outs and expect to get that done. On second down, here's Carr. They set up the screen to Miller. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. Throwing on first down is Carr. Now they go screen. It's complete. A nice little screen. They get six on first down. Good call there on first down. And Brandon, I'm getting better over the years and not screaming out. Screen, screen, screen with my defensive training. They want to keep those pass rushers honest. And they did so there, and they wind up picking up positive yardage. 618. Car to throw on second down. There's a short one to the tight end, Johnson. It'll be a pickup of four, good enough to earn him yet another first down. From the gun, it's a run for Kamara. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Second down, and it's Kamara again. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He lost two there, and it's third down. And that's exactly what offense is trying to avoid by using motion and throwing different formations up. They hate when he can draw a bead on the play, get a running start, and make a big play behind the line of scrimmage as he did just there. Throwing his car on third down. They'll get this out to Kamara. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. A big play that time on the catch and run. And it'll move the chains. That turns into a very well orchestrated play right there. Going to work his way out of the backfield to the right. And after he looked it in, he found plenty of space to roam and picked up big yardage. He gets it left side to Johnson. And the Saints are going to be set up with a first and goal here as the tackle made at the nine. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Try to pound it in, Kamara. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. Alvin Kamara with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Saints have got it back to within a score. Extra point attempt to come here. And this is back to a five-point game. Five-point game now as here comes the kickoff. Washington now brings this out. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And maybe some renewed pressure on this unit following the touchdown a moment ago. It's back to a one-score game. And because of that pressure, 
Oh, and a bad throw there. It's intercepted. Lonnie Johnson picks it. And the Saints are going to get the football here as he gets this up to the 38-yard line. Boy, that one was in the air for an agonizingly long time. Ah, uh, just begging to be picked off, wasn't it? Right it's one thing if you're throwing a ball like that, trying right, right, to throw right, someone down. open or lead them into an area. But that ball needed to be thrown with a lot more conviction. As a result, it's an easy interception. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Right, he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. I don't care what level of football you play. This one was a universal, wasn't it? When we were kids and we played touch football, remember we get in these positions and you just say, everybody go along and hope someone would come free. Now it's Miller running right. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Saints have retaken a third quarter lead. Uh, he's given him a little jolt, just gave him the lead there, but two TDs now in the game. And that jolt puts them in the lead. What a terrific job by him. He is carrying the ball and simply saying, I want to win. And now he's hoping his defense has that mentality as they try to hang on to that lead. Dennis Allen going to go for two here. He's leaving his offense out on the field. They'll try and run it in with Miller. And he got it on the touchdown run, but he won't get in here. He'll be stopped short, and they'll come up empty on the try for two. The ball upright on the tee, and the Saints kick team booms it away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signal for and take it. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And they'll set up the screen to Pacheco. He's going to be out of bounds on what's going to wind up being the final play of quarter number three. Three quarters in the books. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And his throw is going to be incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. That is caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Five yards on the play there. It's a drive will continue. We couldn't ask for much more at this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. And to avoid him at the 40. And that one goes for about six as he's taken down just shy of the 45. Brandon, right, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a game considering the blitz that they just had against them. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. Mahomes going to throw. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 39 yards there. Big one. <laughs> well, this game has certainly had no shortage of offense. Both teams have been revved up from the start. And here's yet another big play. Boy, both defenses have just got to be dragging out there because they've been run ragged throughout. Buying time to his left. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. 
Let's see what that's about. Yeah, you only get a one-yard buffer there from the line of scrimmage, and he got downfield a little too far, and the flag came out. Now here's Mahomes. They'll roll him out right. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. That was for the lead right there. They know they're in a position where fortune favors the Braves. So they took their shot but couldn't connect. Second and 15. Mahomes now to throw. just get rid of it. And a smart play there. He's probably saying, I wish I would have done that on the last drive instead of throwing the interception. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. It's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. Just because... 